Mr. Five. Tell us how you feel. How do I feel? I feel alive. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this session, we're going to be checking out some Bobby Vu special sauce, um, otherwise known as Coin Ops X on the Legends Ultimate Mini. Uh, I've got the stick uh, preloaded from Bobby, so shout out to Bobby Vu, thank you very much. Um, there is a full tutorial um, link to Bobby Vu in the description of this video if you want to see how to set it up. Basically, you just pop in the USB, you format the first partition, you mount it, um, and then you uh, download and install CoinOps X if you haven't already got it, and then you jump into, um, into the add-on here. Um, so let's take a look at how some of the games run on this. I'm particularly interested in how they run on this compared to um, you know, the Raspberry Pi uh, that we have in the other room. Um, also, uh, just check out the selection of games that we've got on here and let you know if we feel this makes um, the App Games products worth having. So let's check it out. So we're going to start off in uh, the horizontal mode here. Uh, we'll be checking out some vertical games in a bit as well. Um, on here, you can move left and right to change the category. You see we have favourites, we had all games before, 7,505 games. Favorites, last played. Um, you'll see in here, I did check out a couple of games before. Um, I always want to check out Street Fighter first. Uh, so let's show you uh, Street Fighter Hyper Anniversary Edition. Once you press the button on here, it kind of freezes a bit. Uh, it takes a while to load. There we go. And it'll still play the video noise while the ROMs load in. And um, so that was a bug at first, it just seems to be something that it does. So uh, down and start to put a coin in. Press the App Games Home button, you can also uh, center, put scan lines on. You can see I've already done that. Back out of here. It's time to come out. All right, let's check it out. You can also remap re the buttons on this, they're not mapped by default properly. Um, you haven't got punch across, punch and kick across the same line. Kind of mixed up a little bit. But all you have to do is press the home button and you can go down to button mapping if you want to fix that. I'm not too fussed about this game, I've got plenty of other machines that I would, I would play this on. But. I gotta say, I don't really like the buttons on this uh, App Games product compared to, for example, we've got a, an, app, an arcade one legacy that we put the boss deck in from 99 Lives, much better. Um, even compared to the standard arcade one up buttons, I just think these feel pretty sloppy. I wouldn't play this game on here, to be honest. Apart from getting my ass kicked by Cammy, um, functions fine, no slowdown or nothing like that. Uh, let's just back out, check out some other games. Um, let's check out Street Fighter Third Strike. Uh, this didn't work last time I tried it, I'm just going to try it again. Uh, in Bobby View's tutorial, he does say if games on here don't work. Um, to keep trying. I'll also put um, in the description, uh, by the way, if you're not already, you've got to check out Bobby Vu's Arcade Brigade Facebook group. Um, definitely a cool place to, to hang out, chat to fellow hobbyists and, um, and get cool builds and downloads like this that you can play around with. So yeah, it looks like Street Fighter Third Strike isn't going to work on here. 
obviously it's uh, a bit more of a performant game. Maybe the hardware on this uh, Mini isn't good enough to run it. Not sure. If you know why this doesn't work, let me know in the comments of the video. Oh, here we go. So, shout out to Bobby. Yeah, if the game doesn't work on here, just keep trying. It will work eventually. I haven't been in here yet, so let's uh, keep it centre. I'm going to put scanline on horizontal because I like that. Say that now this is running, there's certainly no performance issue, there's no input lag, it's, it's running fine. Go! I do love Third Strike, um, very cool version of the Street Fighter series. If you haven't played that yet, you've got to check that out. All right, anyway, let's uh, let's jump back out. Next, I want to quit out of here, and I want to show you, um, well, I haven't show you, I want to see for myself, actually, I haven't tried this yet. I want to see if we can flip the screen around and play vertical game, how that works. So a little bit of lag on the menu here, by the way. There's a lot of games on here. Um, we're enough, just a little USB. So you've got to press the joystick and then it will move a split second after. There it is, if we keep flicking through a vertical games menu. See here, lots of filters, beat em ups, fighting, co-op, four player, light gun, maze games. 
platform games, puzzle games, racing, run and gun, shoot 'em up, spinner games, sports. Trackball games, we don't have a trackball, we only have the one place, we don't we can't use twin stick either. Uh, but here's vertical. So let's check out let's try and find something a bit fun in here. See, hundreds and hundreds of games, hours of fun here, just checking them out and figuring out what's on here. One thing I do find on these uh, kind of uh, multicades is it's just difficult to think what you want to play. I prefer to walk up to a cabinet and just play the game that's on it, save this messing around, but. I haven't found on here yet a search feature. I can search by game name. Um, I'm sure there is one somewhere. If you know, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna play Bomb Jack. While it's loading, use the little sticky thing to pull the front of the screen off. I don't bother putting the um, screws in there anymore. So you can see now this is using like a half of the screen with a vertical screen. But the cool thing about this Legends Mini is you can just take the screen out and flip it. I'm not sure if that's going to work inside coin ups. Uh, looks like perhaps not. Okay, so I'm guessing you're probably going to have to go into coin ups with it already in vertical mode. Uh, so let's just do that. Let's uh, quit the game. See if it changes while you're in the coin ups menu. Nope. Alright, well, let's just uh, quit out of coin ups altogether. All right, a little bit uh, more fiddly than usual, not sure why. Back, cover back in while that's thinking about what it's doing. All right, uh, let's give it a second. Even the, uh, the standard legends UI is super laggy. I don't know if um, the OS just restarted as well, so I don't know if that's going to need to reload the USB. We'll find out in a second.
All right. Okay, so that is preparing coin ups now. It does take a while. Um, obviously, there's 7,500 games and it. it takes a while to load them up. Um, so you just gotta wait. Uh, while it's waiting, and while it's loading or doing its stuff, I'm just gonna quickly have a game of uh, Marvel versus Capcom 2. Haven't done the review for this cabinet yet, but uh, will be very soon. So a quick go on Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on here and then we'll, uh, we'll jump back into the Legends. Let's rock! Advantage of a multi arcade setup at home. You just jump straight in and play the game, no messing about. Just quickly pause that for a second, um, but I gotta say, just jumping from the at game system back over to the one up with stock buttons, the one up is just so much better. It's much easier to pull off your special moves. Obviously, you've got different gates on some of the later cabinets, um, but just the maybe I'm just used to it. I don't know, not um, not feeling it on the on the Legends controls at all. Let's see if um, this is finished loading yet. You can see when you press the button, you hear the spring in it. Yeah, still not, uh, still not good. I'm not gonna spend another 10 minutes on the video waiting for this to load. I'm gonna stop the video, go carry on playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2, <laughs> restart the video once we've got uh, coin ops back uh, to see how that looks in, uh, in a vertical mode. All right, so didn't have to wait too much longer, another couple of minutes and um, looks like it's loading again now. You do get this black screen for a long time sometimes. Don't turn it off, just leave it. 
it's doing its thing, loading all that sauce, as uh, as Bobby says in his uh, in his tutorial. Well, come on. Oh, you also do sometimes get this blue screen as well. Again, not broken. Don't turn it off. Just leave it. All right, well, it's pretty cool. Straight away, we can see it's um, recognised the screen is the other way. That's awesome. Love that. So let's um, I'm going to say the um, the menu changing. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but um, after changing back in for the second time, the menu's a bit more responsive than it was. Less lag. Cool thing, I guess, about playing these kind of multi-cade builds is you do always find games that you haven't um, haven't played before. I've never played this Konami shooter. Looks pretty cool. Let's check it out. Um, I will. I don't really like that screen format. How it's got the um, the marquee down the side, so you can go in here. And I'm going to do fill. Let's see how that works. I'm going to put scanline filter on too. pretty cool obviously the image is stretched a little bit here you don't have to do that if you didn't want to stretch it you could just put fit or center um, you have pixel perfect there as well I, I do I prefer that fit, I think. All right, that's pretty cool. I really uh, um, I'm impressed. One of the things I wanted to figure out or to, or to check out was if um, if it does work with a vertical and horizontal screen on this cabinet. Um, so success. Let's just uh, quit out of here. I'm not going to keep the video running while we're waiting, but I'm going to flip the screen back around horizontal. And I want to check out. Uh, I want to see if there's Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on this build and. And see how that compares from a performance perspective to the uh, the arcade one up we're back in a sec. So I flipped the screen round back to horizontal mode. Um, it does seem like when you do that screen flip on this at games mini, um, it does kind of reboot the OS to to a certain extent, um, and then it's got to prepare coin ops assets again. So you it, don't recommend. Flipping the screen around if you want to like play a game, flip it around, go back again, kind of decide what you uh, want to play, vertical or horizontal, before you boot up uh, coin ops for the night. Um, the other thing I want to take a look at, and I'll do that towards the end of the video, is how we get this system to boot straight into coin ops so we don't have to go through the terrible at games uh, UI. Maybe that will be faster, I don't know. I want to check that out. There, yeah, At Games is still doing its thing with the coin ops X, so I've come back uh, to Marvel vs. Capcom. I will show you a bit more since we haven't done a review of this yet. Love this game. Oh, we can see actually in the corner of my eye that just started over on the At Games, but I am just going to carry on and finish this game. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
Pretty cool, funky tune. Let's just get back out of that. Hopefully, CoinOps assets have finished being prepared. Nope, still not finished. Um, like I said, it does work. You just gotta, you really gotta have patience. You know what, while that's preparing itself again, I'm gonna jump through into the main arcade and I just wanna show for people considering getting a Legends just so they can do coin-ups on it. I just wanna show how this compares to uh, the pre-built system from 99 Lives. Love that. So Hypermax V8, um, 16,000 games on here. So it is um, you know, doing slight coin ups, so it has to load up the games. But here you go, we're in. Much quicker. Um, I just like the menu system on these as well. You've got, um, you can see what the menu is that, you, that you're browsing through, which I like. I think you can do that on coin ups. I need to figure out how. Um, I can also search for games as well if I want. Yeah, just love that. There's no messing around. Straight into it. Anyway, I just heard the uh, the at games uh, screensaver kick in back in the other room. I'm gonna go check out if Coinops is ready. All right, we're back in here. Um, you can see the awesome at games screensaver is going again with its funky tunes. Uh, let's skip out of that and see if Coinops is ready to go. Launch. Yes! So when you click launch, the black screen with nothing happening for a bit. Uh, remember, that's not a bug. It's supposed to do that. It's just loading up its stuff, getting ready. I know a lot of people are happy with this. I don't know if this is the same wait time you get on all that game's devices. Um, personally, I could. I don't think I can cope with this. I'm not a patient guy. <laughs> I don't want to go back and carry on playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2 again while I'm waiting for this. There we go. Mr. Five, Mr. Five, tell us how you feel. I've been skip this feel? bit actually. I... I just pressed A there to see if we could skip this. We can skip it. Uh, he didn't skip it, we just stopped the video while it carried on loading. Okay, um, so what was I going to do now? Oh, yeah, I was going to see how Marvel vs. Uh, Capcom 2 
compares. I didn't touch any buttons on the control deck then, which this Mini does quite a lot. It randomly starts pressing buttons for you. I'm just going to quit out of the... I think the, the buttons stick a bit on this Mini, um, and they also press themselves. Let's see if we can find Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Versus Capcom, but not Marvel versus Capcom 2. But let's play Marvel versus Capcom anyway, since we're in. Wait, what is Marvel versus Capcom Super Boss? Not played that version. I'll play Marvel versus so obviously the different builds for coin-ups, you can add your own ROMs to it. This is just a build that I got. Um, I understand that not all games are going to work on the At Games coin-ups platform. So um, I think um, from what I've heard in the various groups, this one from Bobby Vu is a, is a pretty nicely tested one. So most of the games do work. Again, the cool thing, um, there's, a, there's a lot of lag and button issues on the Mini, particularly in the, in the interface system, but actually once the game is loaded, there's no lag and it plays just fine. So I think once you've found the game that you want to play and you can leave it running, I think you're in a good spot with this, uh, with this setup. Alright, so definitely like um, the interface on CoinOps X versus you know trying to play the games through the standard app games UI, which I really don't like. Um, so for me, to continue using this system, I think what I want to do is check out how to boot into um, CoinOps X and just avoid having to go into the app games UI at all. All right, so I showed you um, the build from Bobby Vu in CoinOps. You can, of course, just access the build just from the USB key if you prefer to use um, the built-in UI from the Legends Ultimate Mini. Um, I did try and boot, by the way, uh, straight into CoinOps. It, it didn't work. I'm going to try and figure out, and I'll perhaps do a video at a later stage if I get that working. Um, I also tried to boot straight into Add-on X, um, but you kind of when it boots up, you initially get a menu to say that there's no USB key. Um, it, it just takes a while to initiate before you can go ahead and do that. Um, I just pressed the button there. It was a slight delay, and then we're in. So when you access the build using the standard UI, you've got the menu at the side, 
uh, which shows you the various different folders. Uh, so you can see here, you've got three player builds, four players, Art of Fighting, Atari, Commodore 64, uh, Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, Game Boy, uh, Game Gear, Basta System even, uh, Neo Geo CD. So you've got some very cool games on here. Uh, like I said earlier, there's 7,500 games on here. Uh, even some triple uh, X rated titles as well. If, um, I will not be showing those on this video, of course. Uh, let's have a look at Neo Geo CD. That's not something that I've played very much. Um, The other cool thing that this has got on it is the Game Boy games, and I hated the version of Tetris that was on the Tetris Mini at game system that I got. And on here, uh, if I just go forward a few pages, Super Mario is very cool as well. I think what um, what the Game Boy showed us at the time was it doesn't matter if the graphics were not that good. If the gameplay was good, it could just be a little black and white LCD looking game. This is the proper Tetris music I remember. said I want to just check out uh, Rainbow Islands um, and then um, and then we'll wrap up with our summary um, I'm sure I played it on here before is there a recently played menu in here no I could have added it to favorites if I wanted to games. Right. I'll just get to the um, 
the game now. I'm going to fast forward to the video to save you looking at me trail through all these games. Nearly there now. Oh, I went too far. There we go. It's nice in this build as well if you've got the proper little side marquee bars configured for the games for you. I can put get coin in. it there and get into the summary all right so let's um, let's get back to summary of thoughts um, on how this um, kind of option for a multi cage shall we call it compares to other options uh, we saw uh, back through in the other room earlier in the video how it compares to something like an Android box with the hyper spin on there we've also got a Pi 4 um, with retro Pi running on there um, those options are going to cost you more money. Um, you're going to have to get an arcade one up first if you want to do that mod. Then you're going to have to get all the hardware, um, additional joysticks, or you can get the pre-built kit like we did uh, from 99 Lives or others. Um, you're going to be looking at, you know, 750 um, for that type of setup. Is it better? Yes, it is. Um, as my opinion, some people think it isn't. Um, this, you have to remember, this at game system costs us 200 bucks from Sam's Club, and then a USB was like 50 bucks or something. Got the source on there. Thanks again, Bobby Vu. Um, it's a very, very cheap option, and not everyone has got a ton of money to spend on arcade machines. Not everyone, even if you've got a ton of money, you don't necessarily want to spend thousands. So for 250 bucks, I gotta say, this is a fantastic option. There's no reason why if you're into video games and particularly classic arcade games, there's no reason why this isn't affordable um, to most people. Um, and really is, you know, at least a third cheaper than other ways of doing it. Haven't done the review of the iArcade yet. Um, you know, I really like this, it's super performant. I'm not a fan of the UI either. I think the UI is better on Hyperspin and RetroPie. Um, but again, it's 800 bucks compared to this at 250. So, you know, I've, I've historically not been a fan of that games, but I've got to say for 200 bucks and then 50 bucks for the USB key, and then obviously get a build on there, for that sort of money, you can't really argue that this is good value. Yeah. It's slow, yes, some of the games don't work first, you've got to keep trying. Yes, you can spend longer looking for the game than actually playing, but if you just want one multicade for the cheapest you can that does work, then um, you know I would recommend this for $250. Anyway, I'm definitely going to check this out more. I realise I'm a novice when it comes to at games and coin up, so I doubt you will have learned anything from my video other than just my opinion about it. Do check out the description. You've got the tutorial from Bobby Vu in there. Also, make sure you, if you're not already, make sure you add yourself to the group on Facebook, Arcade Brigade. Bobby Vu manages that. Loads of cool stuff on there. Um, if you're into this hobby, you're going to find something on a weekly basis there that interests you. So again, shout out to Bobby Vu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to you guys for watching. If you like this kind of thing, please consider subscribing. Um, we'll be back soon with a bunch more videos uh, that we've got to uh, get around to doing reviews for the, the IRK Gold Edition. We haven't done that. The Infinity Game table from Arcade 1UP, we haven't reviewed that. 
Um, I didn't even get around to doing Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or, um, or NFL Blitz. And then while I'm still waiting to review those, I've got a couple of packages here on the table, one of them being uh, some cool mod kit for, um, for my Sega Saturn. So lots of cool stuff to come. Um, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. In the meantime, happy gaming.